Brenda Kurtwright. Thank you for joining me today. And for those of you who've been here before, thank you for returning. I'm a speech language pathologist. I've been practicing for 20 years. And I work with patients with mild cognitive impairment and aphasia in the area of cognitive rehabilitation. And I started this channel to provide people with mild cognitive impairment and aphasia a community in which they could come together and learn about cognitive rehabilitation as well as practice exercises to help stimulate the brain. So today what we're working on is word retrieval a word retrieval strategy, also known as word finding. And I just want to say that evidence shows that by practicing trying to retrieve words, it actually helps you generalize that to other areas and it helps to retrieve words in general. It helps you with word finding in other ways. So that is why it's a good idea to practice the type of thing that we're going to be doing today. And today we are working on a modified recall treatment. It's known as CART. It uh, stands for Modified Copy and Recall Treatment. And what it, re what it requires is for you to look at a picture and to say a word multiple times and write the word down as well as recall the words from memory in the end. Today we're going to look at six words and practice that. So let's get started. Okay, so I would like you to look at the image and I would like you to write down the word three times if you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, let's try to figure it out. It begins, I want you to think about what letter it begins with and or what sound it begins with. Okay, now I'm going to show you the word. All right, I'd like you to say the word three times and then I would like you to answer a question. Is this something you would find in a refrigerator? Just say yes or no. Okay. Then I would like you to tell me a feature about the word. So I'd like you to come up with something that would best describe this particular image. In this case, you can say it has a mattress. Okay, and then I'd like you to say the word one more time and write it down. Okay, great, then we're gonna go on to the next. So we're gonna do this for five more words. So here's the next word. Okay, I'd like you to write it down three times. And if you, if you know it, if you don't know it, I'd like you to tell me the first letter that it begins with and or the first sound. Okay, great. Here's your clue in case you didn't know it. The first sound is, the first letter is S and the first sound is sand. Okay, I would like you to say the word three times and I would like you to answer a question. Is this something that you would find in the refrigerator, possibly? Yes or no? Okay, great. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to tell me one feature about this image. What's one thing unique about this? Okay, and then last but not least, I'd like you to write it down one more time and say the word. Okay, great, we're gonna go on to the next word. So I'd like you to tell me what this image is. Okay, if you know it, write it down three times. If you don't know it, I'd like you to say what you think the first letter is and then the first sound of the word. Okay, great. I'm going to now show you the word. Okay, I'd like you to say it three times and then I would like you to answer a question. Is this something that you would find in a refrigerator, yes or no? Okay, then I would like you to tell me one of the features of this item of this image rather, and then I would like you to write it down, write the word down one more time and say it one more time. Okay, we're gonna move on to another image. I'd like you to tell me what this is. If you know it, write it down three times, and if you don't know it, I'd like you to say what you think the first letter it begins with and or the first sound. Okay, I'm going to show you the word. Now I'd like you to say it three times and tell me if this is something that you would find in a refrigerator, yes or no. Okay, now I would like you to tell me a feature about this word, or about the image rather, and then I would like you to write it 
and then I would like you to say it one more time. I'd like you to tell me what this image is. Okay, if you know it, write it down three times. If you do not know it, I'd like you to say what you think it begins with, what letter, and what sound. Okay, good. Now I will show you the word. I would like you to say it three times and then answer a question. Is this something that you would find in a refrigerator, yes or no? Okay, now I would like you to tell me a feature about this image. And then I would like you to write it down one more time and say it out loud one more time. Okay, great. Then we're going to move on to another image. I'd like you to tell me what this is. If you know it, write it down three times. And if you don't know it, I'd like you to say what you think the first letter begins with and or the first sound. Okay, I'm going to show you the word. Now I'd like you to say it three times. And tell me if this is something that you would find in a refrigerator, yes or no. Okay, now I would like you to tell me a feature about this word, or about the image rather. And then I would like you to write it, and then I would like you to say it one more time. Okay, great. So now we're all finished with our six words. I would like you to cover up your words, and then I would like you to say the words out loud. See if you can recall them. Okay, so how did you do? So if you recalled all of them, congratulations. And if you didn't, congratulations as well, because the best part about this is that even if you are if you are incorrect in your responses, you still get the benefit of doing the work. So congratulations, either way. I would like to just let you know that this is something that you can practice at home uh, using different words. And I'll just show you an example of how you can do that. I have all the words that I've gone over today, I placed on an index card with a picture in the front and then the word on the back. And so I have this for each of the words that we went over today. And you can practice this by doing the same thing and going through the same exercise at home using different words. And you can so thank you for joining me today. I just want to say this is not a substitute for therapy, uh, but this is a way for you to practice some exercises to help provide you with stimulation in the area of cognition, possibly in between therapy, or if you've been dismissed from therapy, it gives you something to work on. And I would like to say thank you for joining me today. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you in the community. And I would just recommend that you subscribe and ring the bell so that you can be updated with new videos that we have coming. So thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you next time.